Okay, so nine years ago, in 2007, we see Spongebob fall in love with a patty in To Love a Patty. Now, nine years later, we see Mr. Krabs fall in love with a talking dollar. It didn't work the first time they used this plot, and it most certainly didn't work again with Mr. Krabs and money. Seriously, are you freaking kidding me? Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Mary to Money. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just get to the plot. So, Mary to Money is about when, obviously, Mr. Krabs, he, you know, his passion for money. It's another one of those things where Plankton tries to get close to the Krabby Patty secret formula. So, of course, Plankton, I'm surprised he didn't even do this a long time ago, first of all. He disguises as this talking dollar named Kashina. So that Mr. Krabs can fall in love with Kashina. So Plankton can get close to the Krabby Patty Secret formula. And... Yeah. I normally tell you guys what I think of this episode, but I already told you guys at this point with that intro. Man, so much for 2016 going on a nice streak of not having a single bad episode. Because 2015, sure, it had a few misses last year, but really overall, it was a really great year for Spongebob episodes. There wasn't a single bad episode. In fact, like I told you guys, my worst Spongebob episode of 2015 being Pull Up a Barrel, that wasn't even a bad episode. That was just a fine episode in my opinion. So it's like even my worst Spongebob episode of last year, it wasn't even a bad episode. It was just a mediocre episode. So last year went on a nice streak. I think the last time I saw a really bad Spongebob episode was that freaking Kenny the Cat episode. Oh man. However, I do have a few positives. I'm not gonna be like all angry. I am a fair reviewer. I will give positives even to an episode I really hated. So let's get to my positives. I will just say this, when this episode started, I already automatically had a big smile on my face. And you know why? Because this episode actually brought back the sea bear. Remember the sea bear from the camping episode, which is, by the way, one of my all-time favorite SpongeBob episodes? They actually brought him back. Instead, this time, instead of one sea bear, you see more than one sea bears at the Krusty Krab. And I really liked that. That was actually cool. That put a big old smile on my face. I also really liked Pearl. You know, ever since uh, they've been getting new writers to write these SpongeBob episodes, Pearl has been so freaking likable. I mean, in Mall Girl Pearl, Pearl has been the most likable I've ever seen in SpongeBob. And now I'm at a point lately where if the writers continue to make Pearl likable, Pearl could be up there as being honestly one of the most enjoyable characters in SpongeBob. I really enjoyed Pearl here. There's a few funny moments. One of them actually being when Pearl walks in on Mr. Krabs because Mr. Krabs is kissing the locket of Kashina and Pearl just walks in on him and goes, Ew, gross! Like, that actually had me laughing. And unfortunately, that's where I stopped being positive because this episode was shit! This! Why? Have you not learned your lesson from to love a patty? Why would you basically rehash a plot except this time instead of Spongebob falling in love with a patty, it's Mr. Krabs falling in love with this money named Kashina. And that's the thing about this episode. It's awkward as all hell. I was so uncomfortable sitting through this entire episode and it's more awkward because, you know, um, it's one thing where Mr. Krabs is falling in love with this talking dollar. Oh my, it was so weird. But when that dollar is controlled by Plankton, 
So basically, in a way, when you think about it, Mr. Krabs dating Plankton... Oh my gosh. The writing in this episode is crap. And it just didn't really work for the overall storyline, which is already a bad concept to even begin with, as well as being a freaking rehashed concept. And not to mention, the episode is rushed as all freaking hell. I'm not kidding you. One moment, Mr. Krabs, he meets Kashina. And then he's at the fancy restaurant. Then he's at home with Pearl. Pearl gets used to the idea of Kashina. Then we already cut to the Krusty Krab where we get to the wedding and I was bored as shit. Um, and then we cut to the honeymoon and then Plankton. Um, you know, something happens where Kashina is revealed to be Plankton. Mr. Krabs gets his heart broken. Plankton basically says, I don't give a shit about your feelings. And that's how the episode goes. It just jumps one scene after another. And honestly, the ending of the episode was just so out of nowhere. Like, what happened, writers? You're better than this. I'm not sure who wrote this episode. It could be a different writer, because I know they've been getting new writers to come in and write these SpongeBob episodes lately, but... Uh, whoever wrote this episode did not do a good job, and I was so freaking bored, guys. The minute, I'm not kidding you guys, the minute that Mr. Krabs meets Kashina, when I saw Kashina for the first time, guys, I'm not kidding you. This was my legitimate reaction, sitting in my couch as I was watching this episode. <laughs> what the fuck? That was my reaction when I saw Kashima for the first time because the character design of her was just so weird. The face and her voice. Oh my god. I know the writers are better than this. I've been watching these episodes lately. They've shown that they can make really good SpongeBob episodes. And I'm sure whoever wrote this episode, their heart was in the right place. That's one thing I'll say about this episode. I can feel the writer, at least trying, writer or writers, trying. I can actually feel them actually putting an effort to make a good episode, but it just came off as being a crappy, awkward as hell episode. Overall, you guys, as you can figure out, I was not a fan of Mary to Money. This episode was honestly complete crap in my opinion. I'm going to give Mary to Money a 4 out of 10. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Mary to Money. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!